Yes, surprisingly to many, there are data, and most important for me is that there is data on how many of the children that survive and how many that tragically die. And this is because there are surveys done where a representative sample of women are carefully interviewed about how many children they've given birth to and how many they have lost and how many have survived. One such study was done in 2002, directly after the fall of the Taliban, and another one was done like in 2010, when now there is security relatively good in most of the country. There's still uncertain parts of the country, but most of the country now have basic health service due to national effort and due to international support. And let me show you here in a very simple way what happened. 2002. Out of four children, one tragically died before becoming five years old. This was the highest in the world at that time, 2002. And 10 years later about, out of 10 children born, one died. That is an enormous improvement. Almost so that we don't trust the data, but very very good researchers have scrutinized this and said more or less this is what it has happened. But did you hear? I didn't say only one in ten die because this is still far too much. It's unacceptable. One child out of ten dying. So what we hope now is that the good progress in Afghanistan can continue. There can be security in the whole of the country. International support can continue, even increase, so that people can see now when we have peace, we have elected our own government, now we get it better and better, and thereby those, those aggressive uh, people who want to use terror, they will lose. So see here, going from one in four dying to one in ten dying, it may be halved in the next ten years. This is what I see coming.